Hey, and welcome back to another Ops Collective tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can monitor your workload and quickly identify when you and your team members are over capacity using ClickUp's workload view feature. So you definitely want to bookmark this video if you find yourself often double booking yourself or working crazy hours because you have varying client work levels. So before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get notified when we release another time-saving ClickUp video tutorial. Now let's get started. So right now you are actually getting a preview of um, the workload view that I already have set up on a sample company at a sample company level. So in this view, you can see three team members and you can also see their capacities on the various days of the week. Now, before you can set this up in your ClickUp account, you're going to have to enable some of the ClickUp features, Click, ClickUp apps features. So in order to do that, you first wanna go down to the far left corner, right? And then select the Click Apps option here in, this, in the first column. So once you select that, you wanna go down to the bottom and you want to enable a few things. I'm gonna show you those just now. So the first thing you want to enable is the time estimate section. So this allows you to add time estimates to the tasks within your ClickUp board. So in order to enable it, just click the toggle button so that it's highlighted blue, right? And then you can also um, indicate which space you want this feature attached to. Right now I have my other spaces hidden, so you only see one space called client work, but you'll likely have more and you'll want to make sure that this is applied to all of your spaces. So the next thing you want to enable is also the time estimates rollup. I like that feature. It's a good one to have um, activated. And then also you want to activate the workload resource management app right here. So in order to enable it, just simply toggle it back to the right so that it's highlighted. So you're good to go. So once you have all those three apps um, enabled, we can now get started. So you want to hit the back button to go back to your board view. Okay, and so I'm gonna show you how we even get to this point in the first place, right? So I'm gonna go over to the client level, uh, Client Acuity Inc., and we're gonna look at it in the list view, okay? So in order to do the workload view in um, ClickUp, you need to have your time estimate column, right, completed. You also um, need to set an assignee, right? Apply that task to somebody. And then you also need to, and then you also need to set your capacity, you know, your capacity for the week. And so I'm just gonna go back here to the workload screen to show you what I mean. So in ClickUp, it allows you to set your capacity for the week here, right underneath the assignee's name. So let's say we wanna pick D in this example. Right now, her capacity for the week of July 26th to August 1st is showing 40 hours. If we want to change that, we could just hit the pencil button there and then put in the um, her max capacity for the week. So if we want to make this 20 hours instead, okay, just hit save and then it will update these. If we want to apply to everybody on the team, we can hit apply for all three users and hit save. Okay, so now um, the, everyone's capacity has been changed to 20 hours a week. Now, um, most people using ClickUp are on the unlimited plan or the business plan. And on this plan, it takes your capacity and it um, divides it across the days that you say you're working. So if you're saying working Monday to Friday, it will take the 20 and divide it by five days. Um, if you want to be able to have varying capacities per day, so let's say Monday you work five hours, Tuesday you work 10 hours, you need to be on the enterprise plan. But we, we are, we're currently on the business plan, so this is good enough for us. So that's one thing you wanna do. You wanna first set your capacity, right, in this view here. So now we're gonna go over back to the tasks. Oops. We wanna go back over to the tasks so we can set our time estimates and assign the work to an individual, right? So in this case, it's already assigned, but I'm going to just remove it to show you how you can assign. Right, so let's say these three tasks, we want to assign them to D who's on the team. So you would just click under the assignee column and then pick the person you want to assign it to. So I'm just going to reassign it to her. 
Now you want to set time estimates. So right now you're going to see that you can't see the time estimates field here. No worries. All you have to do is click in the add a column section over here. Okay. And then click the time estimate option right here. Now I already have the time estimate fields completed in for most of the tasks. So for you, you almost, you'll, yours will look like this. So it'll be empty. So all you have to do is just click on the hourglass icon and put in the time estimate. So if you think this task is going to take 10 minutes, just type in 10 minutes, hit save, and it'll pop it in there. So I'm going to repeat the same thing for the next task. Let's say that takes 20 minutes. And then I'm going to repeat it for the third one. And let's say this takes 45 minutes and then hit save. So that's how you can quickly and easily apply time estimates to each task. Now you can also apply your time estimate within the task card view. So if I click on the brainstorming task card, it will bring me to the actual task. And you'll just go to the far right where it says estimate, click on there, and you can also update the time estimate in that screen as well, in that area as well. You can also change the assignee on the far left next to the status as well, but we're gonna leave it like this for now. So now that you have your time estimate, you've assigned the task to somebody, we can now view our team's workload. So in order to enable it, right now I'm actually gonna delete it. You guys know how to enable it. So in order to enable the workload area, you wanna to go to the view section, okay? And then under task views, you wanna select the workload option. And then for me, I like to pin this view and then hit add view. Okay, so it's just gonna take a while because there is a lot of tasks in this card. So just give it some time. Okay, so now that it's reloaded everyone's workload, now we can see how everyone's capacity is for the week. So let's take D for instance. D can only work 20 hours a week, but right now the areas that are green are the days that she clearly still has capacity. And then where we see red is the days where she's clearly over capacity, right? So right now we have some like fake numbers in there. So um, if you just look at the total over here, you can see currently she has 265 hours of work estimated for the week of July 26th to August 1st, but her capacity is only 20 hours. So in seeing that, we're like, oh no, we need to fix this. So the first thing you could do is just click on the red area when you do that, it's actually going to expand and show you the tasks that are making up that um, that time estimate there. So here, her time, esti time estimate of tasks is about 261 hours, and then it's breaking down the tasks that make it up. So right now, the biggest chunk of that is this task here. So right within the screen, you can actually click right onto it, and it will bring you to the task. So here, you can easily assign it to somebody else, Right, so let's say we don't want to assign it to D, we want to move it to somebody else, we could do that here. And we can even change the time estimate. So if we still want to keep it at D, we can just go to the time estimate section here. And let's say this task only takes us three minutes, change the time estimate, just as an example. And then if you click out, that has now been updated to only show three minutes. So this is how you can work down, right? look at your capacity and then start adjusting, okay, where can we start fixing things? Now you can take this another step as well. If we already see that Wednesday, uh, D is already overloaded, we can simply shift tasks around, right? So in this case, let's say we wanna take this task here, that's 40 hours long, and move that over to Monday. So now you can see instantly that now her Wednesday, she's no longer over capacity. Um, more than anything, she has her total estimate of work for that day is an hour and 18 minutes at four hour at a four hour max capacity for that day. So that's how you can like switch around and play around with your capacity in this view. Now, because we switched that task over to Monday, now she's overloaded again. So you can always click back into the task, update the estimate, reassign it to someone else or make those type of modifications. So, so we can take this a step further.
Now within the same screen, you can also assign tasks to other members. So if we don't want to give this particular task a date anymore, we could just click on it and move it down to Emma down here on the Monday and it's, it'll automatically be assigned to Emma now, right? So now it's changed from D to Emma. So you can move your tasks around very easily right within the workload view. Now, if there's a particular task, let's grab this one here called creative review for 45 minutes. Now the due date is the 29th, but if you know this could be spread over a couple of days, all you can do is toggle, just go to the first part of it and you can actually move it and spread that task across multiple days, right? Um, and then if we want to shorten it, we can shorten it back over just to have it spread between Tuesday to Wednesday. Alternatively, if we want to stretch this out to Friday, we could just grab the tail end of that task and move it over to Friday. So now that one particular task is spread over four days, right? So then it helps with managing the capacity. So this is why like this uh, feature in particular is an absolute time saver because it can help you better plan client work and avoid bottlenecks that can affect your service quality. So if you're looking to get up and running with ClickUp Fast, we can help. Just click the link in the description box below to schedule a one-on-one -on -one call with a vetted ClickUp consultant today. See you next time. Take care.